we're getting into the plane now. So we're on our way to Marrakesh in our flight. Excited. Just we were how long were we in, in Casablanca? Like three hours. Yeah. We arrived, we slept, we're feeling good, and uh, we have a 40 minute flight now to Marrakesh. And then it's time to check in and uh, have a great place to go to tonight. It's gonna be a rooftop bar, right? Yeah. So looking forward to it. are arrived in Marrakesh here we are at La Meridian Hotel in Marrakesh we just got here we're all so hungry and so tired but we have reservations for Nomad restaurant which is really deep inside the Medina so we're gonna have to take a taxi and then walk a whole bunch but apparently it's really good so I hope it's worth it and we'll show you all the good food when we get Alright, finally arriving at the Nomad restaurant after we got lost and could not find this place. Finally here in Marrakesh after our flight was delayed, both of them. Um, and then our taxi driver got lost, really like driving around in circles. Like. Well, as you heard, we finally made it and now the food is coming. Look at this, check out this food. This is, I think it was well, well worth it. Yeah. Nadia, what are you having? Um, it's a fish. Fish? Oh, it looks phenomenal. All right. And what about you, Katarina? I'm having the Nomad Couscous. The Nomad Couscous. Mmm, looks delicious. Try it. Really good. So this is very healthy. We're trying to stay. This is a healthy trip. Uh, and whenever we travel, we want to go into Cucumber, lemon, this carrot, lemon, um, turmeric, turmeric ginger. so ginger. When you travel, especially when you come from a long trip, you really want to juice a lot and get your vitamins going in your body so you prevent getting sick. So that's how you start eating. Oh, you feel the ginger and the turmeric? Yeah. This morning we did some uh, sightseeing around the city. Uh, we visited the uh, Kutubia Mosque, which is the uh, largest mosque in uh, Marrakesh. It was founded in 1147 uh, by uh, Al-Mohad uh, Khalif Abd al-Mumin, uh, right after he conquered Marrakesh. But now we're arriving at the Medina, the ancient part of the city, and we will explore this uh, labyrinth of uh, shops, cafes, restaurants, and who knows what else we'll find. Thank you. Wow. Shukran. This one is a chai tea. Oh, wow. You know we have inside sugar natural steam. Yeah. Small one. You put it inside. Just one? Yeah. So powerful. You can drink it right now. Can you drink it? Can you drink it? And what is it? You can drink it. Already ready to drink? Wow, it's very strong. Just one tiny little thing. Wow. Wow, it is so powerful. Can I try it? So to me. Did you make her smell the whole thing? I tried. Yeah, he just made me sell it. It is. Have you tried this? Yeah. Smell it. It's so incredible. Oh, we should take that. What are you thinking, girl? She didn't even sip it because it's so strong. How much is this? Give me a good price. I don't need to negotiate with you, do I? Okay, Yusuf, where are we going now? Yeah, we're going to see the souks. We will start our visit to souks. And the souks so are I mean, basically souks. spices. Yeah, spices, market. Souks mean market. Okay. So, a lot so, of oh, shops. so souk means market? Yeah, a lot of shops see the same thing. Okay. So we'll see the ceramic one, olive square, carpet right. market. Awesome, let's go. Let's start. What is this called? Henja. 
Hensha. Hensha from like from the snake because it's like the snake. Mm -hmm. We make it and we make circles like the snake exactly. So we call it Hensha with the almonds. Mm -hmm. yes. Very sweet. What do you think? What do you think? It's um perfect, <laughs> unique. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's unique. Yeah, this is the right answer. It's unique. Mm. Try. I like it. Yes. I like try. I have one. Thank you. The souks are filled with every shop you can imagine. You'll find so many different home decor items, especially carpets, but also incredible foods and spices. A word of advice, though. There are a lot of beggars, and if you give something to one of them, suddenly you will be surrounded by a bunch of them. We arrived at the food markets, uh, so if you want to try some authentic Moroccan street food, this is the place. This is sheep. Sheep. Yeah. It's, it's so awesome. It smells, smells really good. Smells really good. It's very nice. Very delicious. Very delicious. Very delicious. Very delicious. Very delicious. Try a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'll try. Mm. It's good. Very good. Right, we finally got to the spice market. the most famous spice in Morocco? The mix. The mix the of mi the, the mix of the, yeah. Yeah. But turmeric is very big here, right? Is not, yeah, yeah, we use a lot of turmeric. Yeah, we, I, we ate something with turmeric last night. Yeah, it was so good. And sweet paprika, yeah. ginger. Ginger is big yeah, too, yeah. We love ginger. Yeah. We Every morning yes. we juice with ginger, yes. turmeric, uh, and we put lemon in it. Actually, if you travel a lot, that's what you should try. <laughs> turmeric, ginger, and lemon shot every morning. It keeps you healthy. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. This is amazing, yeah, it's really amazing. Look at these carpets, wow. Oh, look at this, freshly squeezed pomegranate juice. We'll definitely have to try this. Yeah, I can't wait. There we go. Yes. yes, thank you. Finally. Okay, let's taste let's it. Give it How does it taste? Yeah. So this is us drinking pomegranate juice. Oh wait, this is. Mm. We are exploring the options of eating snails. Yeah. We are doing it. I wonder how snails taste with pomegranate juice. <laughs> All right, here we go. These are the snails. Mm -hmm. like that? Yeah, that's yeah, cute. Yeah. Yeah. Escargot a la Marrakech. Marrakech. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, interesting. Very, very interesting, yeah. yeah. The sauce too is delicious. When you finish it, drink the sauce. Oh, I drink the sauce after I finish it? Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll try. After I finish it, I drink the sauce. It tastes um, earthy. Yeah. Earthy. <laughs> very interesting. I want to eat it. It's not a big deal. Yeah. No, it's delicious. Just yeah, close your eyes. And <laughs> it just goes bad. Don't look at it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Do you, it. You, you remind me Chinatown in New York City. <laughs> okay, it's good. It's unique. Have you been in China? <laughs> no. Right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, it's really good. Very good. What do you think, Sahidi? Interesting. Interesting, right? Here you go. Marrakesh has fantastic restaurants. 
and I'm going to show you some of the best that you're going to find in Marrakesh. Tonight we're going to Les Maisons Arabe and uh, it's supposed to be one of the top restaurants. It's also a beautiful hotel. So come on, let's go and look at it. It's going to be beautiful and we're going to have a fantastic dinner. beautiful restaurant and of course because it's uh, in such a cozy hotel it helps a lot so we're sitting right next to the pool area and of course it's nighttime but look at this building so Les Maison Arabe definitely a place to visit if you are in Marrakesh so the Les Maison Arabes menu is uh, digital lit in the background fancy 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 <laughs> to Les Maisons Arabes. Great place, great wine. Let's look at the food. We received our appetizer, which is the uh, scallop carpaccio. So how is it? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. This is um, the carpaccio, so it's not really fully cooked. It's almost warm inside. In my opinion, the food experience in Marrakesh was incredible. Although these restaurants use Western fusion, they're extremely unique and you experience a complete different palate that you're used to. I highly recommend that you explore some of these restaurants here in Marrakesh. We are at the uh, Bahia Palace, it's uh, right inside the Medina, you can take a taxi to come over here. The entry fee is like uh, $5 and uh, it's beautiful to take pictures, uh, the, the colors are just magnificent. Let me show you some beautiful shots that you can get when you're in this palace. The Bahia Palace, which by the way means brilliance in Arabic, is one of the best preserved historical sites in Marrakesh. It was built in 1867 by C. Musa and it spans over two acres, so it's massive. Uh, Bahia Palace is located right next to the Medina and it features over 150 rooms. I think the architecture in the Bahia Palace is absolutely stunning and if you visit Marrakesh, this is definitely a place you need to visit. We are on our way to a restaurant called uh, Pepe Nero in the uh, Medina. It's, uh, it's a bit weird and out of the way, but uh, they said they will pick us up uh, at the taxi drop-off, so let's see. <laughs> This is just a um, welcome appetizer from the house and then of course we go into our beautiful wine. So this is the uh, salmon tatar and the uh, eggplant parmesan and the mozzarella caprese. This is the zucchini risotto and this, and this is the lasagna with some uh, rosemary on top. Oh, very nicely made. Very nice. How's the food? It is um, natural. It feels very smooth. It's not heavy at all, even though it's with Parmesan infused the zucchini, but it's so good. Mm. And the risotto is al dente, which is very important. It is healthy food, tastes great, I'm very, very pleased. Good job, Pepe. <laughs> and this is our dessert. Moroccan cookies and a chocolate mousse.
How was it? Delicious. How was it? Amazing. How was it? <laughs>